it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell already, today is a Disney video. I'm actually going to be collaborating on this video with Rachel from Day to Day Joys here on YouTube. She is a Disney fanatic like I am, and we decided to get together today to do the Disney tag. It's a tag that's been floating around YouTube for quite some time now, and we thought it'd be really fun for both of us to do the Disney tag and answer those questions for you guys. So you guys will love Rachel. You need to check out her channel. She's got four kids. She homeschools. She does lots of freezer meal videos, uh, Disney videos, of course, uh, gift idea videos. So tons of great stuff on her channel. So make sure when you get done watching my video that you head on over to her channel, check out her video, check out her channel and subscribe and become part of her YouTube channel family. And make sure that you tell her that I sent you. If you're coming to me from Rachel's channel, hey, welcome. My name is Becky. I am a non-recovering Disney addict. I don't want to recover. There's nothing wrong with being addicted to Disney. But I am a Disney fanatic. I homeschool my kids. Um, I do lots of videos about cleaning and organization, Disney videos, of course, um, homeschooling videos, curriculum reviews, tons of stuff. So make sure if you like those types of videos that you subscribe and become part of my YouTube channel family. So without any further chatting from me, let's get into the Disney tag. Okay, so these are just questions that I found on YouTube that other people are already answering. There are 15 questions and I cannot come up with an answer for one of them, but the other ones I did answer. And the first one is a scene in any Disney movie that you wish you could experience. That one's easy. It is the scene entangled when Rapunzel and Flynn Rider are out on the boat waiting for the lanterns to rise up and the reflection of the lanterns on the water and he's just so sweet and cute. He's definitely the cutest Disney man character of all the movies, I think. Um, and I really love that scene because it is just so romantic and he's so sweet and gentle with her and then of course the lights and the water and everything. It's really, really pretty. So I love that scene and I think it's my favorite. Second question is an unforgettable experience or a moment that you've had at the parks. Um, I think pretty much any time we ever saw Wishes always gave me goosebumps, which Wishes was the fireworks show that used to be at Magic Kingdom. It was that show for probably, I don't know what, 15 years, 10 years, 20 years. I don't know how long that show played, but they just recently switched it over to Happily Ever After, which is a great show too. But I really loved Wishes when that first song came on and the little child singing about, you know, Starlight, Star Bright, First Star I See Tonight. I don't know. I, it gave me goosebumps saying it again. I don't know. It's just so corny, but I just loved that part. And it always just gave me the goosebumps and the all the feels because, you know, you're there with your kids. And a lot of times I was holding one kid or the other and getting ready to see the fireworks. We would do all, we would have had a great day at the park that day. And this is for like really the way to like send the night off with a bang, literally. Um, and it was just a really great experience that always sticks out of my mind. Another one that really comes to mind, and I talked about this one in my trip recap from, I believe it was May or October of last year when we went to Disney. Um, we had been at Disney Springs and we always stay at Port Orleans Riverside uh, as our resort. And so there's a boat that goes back from Disney Springs to Riverside. So we had been at Disney Springs, we ate at Rainforest, we'd had a great night there, and we were heading back to our resort on the boat. It was nighttime and the roar of the boat, and it was so peaceful and relaxing, and like you could hear the music kind of faintly. They play music on the boat, so you could hear that. And my youngest daughter laid her head on my shoulder and fell asleep, and it was just a perfect moment because I was so happy to be at Disney. We were all together, nobody had work, and nobody had school. And nobody had to go anywhere and do anything with lessons or doctor's appointments. I mean, it was just such a great time that we were all together. And I was so peaceful and happy in that moment. And I think back about that moment a lot. And I mentioned back in that recap video, I was like, that is why, one of the reasons, but those, those moments like that are like the reason why we go to Disney every year. Not that we don't do fun things together here at home, but Disney just brings that out. It gives you all of these experiences. And for us, it's a great place to relax and be together and it was just a great a great memory so i love that memory if you hear a crow like these stupid crows are out here just like i don't know what they're doing i think crows should be outlawed like they shouldn't be allowed to sing because they have the ugliest noise but anyway the third question is what non-disney song reminds you or brings you back of disney and or the parks well this is kind of a cheating one because we have a lot of the official park music on our phones or iPods or whatever, so we can listen to that music, like the real music from Disney whenever we want. So I do listen to that quite a bit, but something that's non-Disney, a lot of times if we're out somewhere and there's a store or restaurant that has kind of like instrumental, sort of tribal sounding music, a couple different times my husband or my kids or me will, will say, 
that sounds like music from Animal Kingdom or that sounds like music from Rainforest Cafe, you know, kind of that feel. That's happened quite a few times. It happens a lot at Chipotle. They play a lot of like drumming type music, at least at our restaurant they do, and that is the type of music they usually play at Animal Kingdom, so that always reminds us of that, so that's always fun. When was the first time you went to a Disney park? I don't know exactly, but I'm going to say it was around 1989. I always say that that we started going to Disney when I was nine years old because that's when I remember going to Disney. Now, if we went before that, I don't remember. So it was around 89, so I've been going to Disney for a very, very long time. If you could choose any Disney character to be your best friend, who would you choose? I have a couple choices, and you're gonna laugh at the combination. It was one that my husband reminded me of, and I'd forgotten about Olaf. How could I forget about Olaf? But he's funny, and he's loyal, and I love how he's kind of goofy and out there too because that is fun, I think. That's kind of like my personality. Um, also, I like Piglet because Piglet is really loyal, and he is the cautious side of me. So he's always like, oh, don't do that. You'll get hurt, or that's not the right thing to do. You know, so I'm a combination of Piglet and Olaf, personally. But then, if you want to talk about, like, a great friend that I think sums me up and it's a person, I would say Captain America. I mean, how random is that? Olaf, Piglet, or Captain America? But I love Captain America because he is a very old soul. He um, is from another time period where, you know, people didn't go around cursing and doing all these things and people still had manners and they were considerate of other people. And that, I feel like, is me. I'm very against, like, cursing. I don't do it. I don't like being around it. And I like how Captain America will, like, call people out when they cuss and say, hey, don't say that. And he gets some flack for it, but I really love that about him. I love that he is a hero and he's just got, like, you know, old-fashioned values. I love that about him and I think that would make him a great friend. Okay, number six, who are your favorite Disney princesses? I don't really like a lot of them, but if I had to pick, I would say Rapunzel and Anna. Um, and I feel like they both kind of have a similar personality. They're both really um, energetic and kind of all over the place, which kind of reminds me of myself. So I think for that reason, I like them because I feel like they're the most approachable, the most fun to be around, and the most, um, the most like me. Name a scene or a moment in any Disney movie that never fails to make you cry. Well, I won't say it never fails to make me cry, but it did make me cry one time. It doesn't do it anymore. Um, but the first time I saw Frozen, we saw it in the theaters. And, of course, let me backstory this by saying I never cry. Even if I want to, I can't. I cannot do it. I don't. I haven't cried in years. Um, but especially when I'm talking like, hoo, 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 you know, that type of cry. Now, every now and again, you get that lump in your throat or something like that, but I don't cry. Tears do not come down out of my face. But when the first time I saw Frozen and the end when, when Anna saves Elsa, I just think that's a great scene because I love that it was the love of the two sisters that saved her. And I just really liked how that was a really interesting twist. And the fact that I have two girls, you know, sisters, it really resonated with me their love and my girl's love and it just got me and I didn't cry I didn't make a face but a tear just kind of rolled out of my face so out of my eyes so we always joke in the family and I always say I didn't cry water fell out of my eyes <laughs> but that scene did get to me and I really love that scene I think it's a great twist to that movie and I love that uh, what is the first Disney movie you remember seeing? My mom said I saw a bunch of other movies but the first one I remember seeing was The Little Mermaid what is your favorite Disney movie? I have a couple. Um, if we're talking about animated movies, then I would say um, Tangled or um, Lady and the Tramp. I really love both of those movies. If we're talking about like live action movies, I really like the Pirates of the Caribbean series. I think it's a great series and we watch it a lot, at least all the way through, usually once, you know, once per year. Who is your favorite Disney villain? That's hard too. And if you're talking about animated, or live action, like villains. I didn't know which one, but I have a couple villains anyway. Um, so animated, it would be Mad Madam Mim from The Sword in the Stone. I love how happy she is that she's bad. She's always dancing around and saying, oh, I do hope someone's sick. Like, it's just so funny, and I love her character. Um, and as far as live action goes, and I think overall, any, any across the board, animated or live action, my favorite villain of all time is Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean. I just love his sarcasm. I love his little quirks that he adds with his little, you know, he makes those little weird noises with his mouth and his little tentacles like flare out when he's mad. I just love him. I think he's a great villain. Also Loki from the Avengers, which we have a dog named Loki. 
named after Loki. Um, I think he's a great character too. He's very conflicted, like one minute he's helping, but the next minute he's not. And did he help because he really had an ulterior motive? You don't really know all the time. And I just love that conflict of him. And I think he's a great character. Another semi-villain that I have, and I don't know if you'd count him as a villain, but Jack Sparrow. I love Jack Sparrow. He's one of my favorite Disney characters, animated or live action. I think he's a great character, but he does do some things sometimes that are underhanded and dishonest, so that kind of makes him a villain, but then he also turns around and saves the day. So I don't know if you count him as a villain or not, but I do love him as a villain and when he's being good. And our dog is named Loki Jack Sparrow because we got to get all those in there. So that's a little trivia about us for you. Um, least favorite Disney movie, ugh, okay, I do not like Big Hero 6. It's not that I don't think Baymax is cute, I think Baymax is cute. I like him, I don't like the rest of the movie. I don't like the characters, I don't like the background, I just don't like that movie. Um, also, I do not like Wally. -E. I think it's really depressing, and I know it's supposed to be depressing, but it's just, I don't like to watch it. And even though Wally -E is cute and very adorable and his little cockroach friend is sweet and everything, I don't like that movie. I don't like Mulan and I also don't like Moana. It's I just don't feel like it doesn't feel like a Disney movie to me and I don't feel that magic in that movie for some reason. And I know a lot of people love it. My girls like it. I just don't like it. Favorite Disney song. Okay, this is all over the place too. So the Three Caballeros, I love that song. I love See the Light from the Tangled soundtrack and all of the music from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, just like the main theme. We also really like the David Jones Locket um, song. My youngest daughter will have me turn that on repeat on YouTube while she does her schoolwork, and it just plays over and over and over. So I really love those songs. What Disney character has your personality or has your dream personality? Okay, there's two. Um, I wouldn't say it's my dream personality. So these two characters, I think, have my personality. If you smush them together, you would get me. Rapunzel. I talked about her earlier. I feel like she's very conflicted. One minute she wants to just throw all caution to the wind and do what she wants to do and not, not worry about what other people think or say. The next minute she's so worried about everyone's opinions of her and are they gonna be upset if she does this. So she's very at that cross, crossroads of trying to live her own life while taking other people into consideration. That is so me. Plus I like how she's very energetic and high spirited and kind of childlike in a lot of ways because I'm that way and I realize she's childlike because she's been locked in a tower all these years and doesn't understand how things work but I just feel like I have a childlike personality I get really amused by the least little thing which I think is a good thing I think it's a quality to have to be able to see the joy and the levity in things that other people may not notice so I love that about her and then also Tigger, because he's very kind of just oblivious half the time to what's going on. He's very energetic and friendly and nice, and I really just love Tigger, and I feel like I identify the most with Rapunzel and Tigger. This is the next question, question 14. I cannot think of an answer for what, if you could change any scene in a Disney movie, what would it be and why? I really can't think of one. I mean, even if there's a scene that I didn't like, a lot of times it has a reason, and if you didn't have that scene, then the rest of the movie wouldn't be the same. So I really can't think of a specific scene I don't like or that I would change. I mean, I have those movies I don't like, um, but a specific scene, I can't think of anything. So I'm gonna have to skip that one. And the last question, if you had to get stuck on any ride in any Disney park for more than 30 minutes, what would it be? Well, I'm assuming we mean that the ride is broken down so we can't ride it over and over for 30 minutes. So I'm going to pick someplace inside because I don't want to be stuck out in the sun for 30 minutes on a ride. So my yeah, my oldest daughter actually suggested this and I was like, yes, that's a good one. But I think the best one, and it actually was her suggestion, is the Navi River Boat Ride at Animal Kingdom. It's inside, it's beautiful, and there's so much detail in that ride. Even if you're sitting there for 30 minutes not moving, I feel like you wouldn't run out of things to look at. I mean, you've got the trees and the plants and things in the background and the water and everything around you to look at. So that seems like the perfect ride to get broken down on. So those are my 14 out of the 15 Disney tag questions. I had a really good time. I had to really think about a lot of these. It was actually really thought provoking, more so than I thought to think of like favorite characters and favorite villains and memories that you've had. Like there was a lot of, I, I had a lot of fun putting these answers together for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm also gonna throw in my Mickey Monthly unboxing in this video because I haven't done one in a few months for you guys. And you know, I really love getting my Mickey Monthly box every single month. 
If you don't know what Mickey Monthly is, it is basically a Disney subscription service that you get delivered to your door every month and you get to pick the price that you pay, you get to pick your gender preference, your age preference, do you want all snacks, do you want pins, do you want a mixture of everything. You pick those categories based on your preferences and your budget, but then every month you get a mystery box delivered to your door of things that they, the Mickey Monthly team have picked out for you in those categories and sent to you in your box. It's just really, really fun. I wanted to share with you guys what's in my Mickey Monthly subscription box for the month of March. So I'm gonna do that for you guys right now. This month I received the original edition box, Magic Female for Adults. I'm super excited to see what is in my Mickey Monthly subscription box for the month of March. So let's open it up together and see what's inside. Oh my goodness, I see something pretty awesome. It is a vinyl pop figurine of Steamboat Willie. How cute is that? My brother would love that. He's obsessed with Steamboat Willie and Sorcerer Mickey, but he loves Steamboat Willie and I love him too. That is really cute. So this is the 90 years of Mickey true original like series that Funko Pop did. So they've got Steamboat Willie, Apprentice Mickey, Firefighter Mickey, Conductor Mickey and Brave Little Taylor Mickey. But obviously I got Steamboat Willie. That is really cute. I think I'll end up giving that to my brother. What else is in here? What is this? It's like a little, it looks like an egg. Oh, that is so cute. Is this a Jim Shore? It looks like a Jim Shore figurine. I'm not sure if it is, but it looks like one of those little kind of hand carved characters, but it's Eeyore in the shape of like an Easter egg. How cute is that? I think my dad would really like that. Apparently I'm gonna be giving everything away in this box, not because I don't like it, but just because I love to share Disney magic with people in my family. And sometimes I get things in my, in my Mickey Monthly box that I know my kids or my husband or my parents would like. So that would be really cute because he's got a whole uh, collection of the Jim Shore uh, figurines for Disney. I think he would like that one, but it doesn't say if it's Jim Shore, so I really don't know. I mean, I guess if it was, it would probably say it, but either way, it's really cute, and it looks like his Jim Shore stuff, so that is super cute and appropriate for Easter. Okay, and then a little interesting package that I've not gotten one this shape before. Oh, yay! A cell phone charm key ring, and it's goofy. Look how cute. I've always wanted one of these to, like, spice up my phone, but I've just never gotten one before, so that's really nice to get one in my Mickey Monthly subscription box. Okay, so this thing goes in your little phone, like, earbud thingy dingy, I don't know what it's called. And then, so this will hang down from your phone. How cute, and it's got like a little gemstone on it. That's super cute. Love Goofy. Gotta love those characters that have the same personality as me. There's more stuff in the box. What is this? Oh, cute. This is, a, this is an amazing box. This is a Dumbo bag. It says lounge fly. It's a little Dumbo zipper case. How cute, that would be perfect for going to Disney or putting down in my purse with coupons because it's not terribly big, but it would probably still hold a lot of little things. So that's amazing, that's awesome. And with Dumbo coming out, that's perfect timing. So that's really cute. I don't think I've ever gotten a bag in my Mickey monthly subscription box. So that's exciting. I think there's one more thing. Surely there's not anything else in here. No, this is the last thing, okay. I just said I'd never gotten a bag before, and now I have a drawstring tote. That's really cute, too. And it's obviously got all of the original characters, so Mickey and Minnie and Donald and Pluto and Goofy on it. That is really cute and bright and colorful, so that's super fun. So even though I just said I didn't get a bag before, now I've got two bags. So that is everything that came in my Mickey Monthly subscription box for the month of March. It was a really great box, some really great items I'm excited about. So if you guys are interested in getting your own Mickey Monthly subscription box and having a mystery Disney box with all different goodies show up at your door every single month, Make sure you check out my description box. I have a link for you guys and a coupon code so that you'll get that discount off of your first box, whichever box you choose. And there's, I hope you enjoyed this video and this little dose of Disney magic in your day. Make sure if you did, you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and check the, the uh, description box for Rachel's video and also my Disney playlist. I will link that for you guys. Every single Disney video I've ever made is in that playlist and there are tons of them about planning and tips and tricks and fast passes and dining reservations and how to save money and going to Disney with kids. So tons of great Disney videos in that playlist for you guys. It'll be linked for you. 
and I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.